Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about how to do some basic keyword searching in the library databases. So you're finding Articles 1 and 2 worksheet will ask you to go into a few of um, different library databases and then do Boolean searches. So I'm going to show you a brief example of that today. So to get to the databases, you want to start on the library's homepage. It's just library.uaf.edu. Once you're here, you want to go to Databases by Title, so go ahead and click on that. All right, and we know we're using, for the worksheet, we're using Academic Search Premier and JSTOR, and then you get to pick one. So today we're going to just look at Academic Search Premier, which is right here in the A's. So go ahead and open that up. Okay, if you're off campus, it's going to ask you to log in with your UAF username. And ID. If you're on campus, you can just go right into the database. Okay, and sometimes it takes a minute to load. But once you're in here, this is what Academic Search Premier looks like if you haven't used it before. So it's pretty basic. And keyword searching is the simplest kind of searching. So you can just do all your searching right in these boxes. So let's say I want to do a search for the health, health benefits of organic farming. So my keywords would be organic farming and probably just health. We could also try benefits, but why don't we just start with health. So what I'm going to do in this first box is put in organic farming. And I'm putting quotations around these words because I'm searching this as a phrase rather than two separate words, and the quotations tell the database to do just that. Okay, and then in the second search box, I'm going to put in health. So we've talked about Boolean operators before, right? And we can see that we're doing an AND search, so organic farming and health. So we're looking for results with both of these concepts included. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on search. And we'll see how many results we get. Okay, so we get 366 results, which is a little more than we want to look at. But let's take a minute to actually look at what we got back. And it looks like our results are pretty good, right, that we just have too many of them. So that's fine. That's an easy problem to fix. So once you've done your keyword search, if you're in this situation, you just need to narrow down the amount of results you get. So there's a couple ways to do that. You can click on full text. And that tells the database to only show you articles that you can actually download from the database. You can also click on scholarly journals. That means that they've been reviewed by other experts in the field and they've been published in journals written for people who work in higher ed, so they're of a really good quality. All right, so those are two good ways to narrow. And now we're down to 109. So we could probably go through these. If we wanted to narrow even further, we could add another keyword in. I won't do that here, but that's another option. But why don't we go ahead and open up this second one so you can take a look at it. Okay, when you open up an article, you want to make sure you read the abstract so that you make sure the article is what you're actually looking for. If you decide that it's good and you want to use it, you can download it right here on the left-hand bar. Just click on PDF full text and you can just save it or email it or print it. Do whatever you need to do. You can also email yourself a link to the article from this right-hand bar. You can save it, you can print it, or you can cite it. So this is a cool feature. If you're working on a works cited list, you can just pick your style, right? So say you're using MLA, you can copy it, and then just paste it into your works cited list. So it's a nice time saver. And we'll talk more about the pros and cons of doing this, but this is a good way to keep track of your sources. Okay, so that's all keyword searching is in the databases. Remember that you also have to use JSTOR and to pick one of your own. If you have any questions about one of the other databases, let me know. They all look a little bit different, um, but they all work basically the same way. So just play around with them, and if you run into trouble, send me an email.